Hey, y'all. Grand Rising. It is Tanya of Plus Size Wellness here. It is day four of my revolution. I'm, oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh. That's it. Tanya's revolution. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. I love when they just give me stuff, you know, impromptu or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Tanya's revolution. This is my July revolution. It's July 4th. This is my Independence Day, my Independence Month, my Independence Year. This is my revolution. Dang it. Yes. Oh, I love it. Thank you, universe. So, as you can see, I am still laying in my bed. I am just, like, sleepy today. I've been up since 8.30 this morning. And I'm sleepy. I had a wonderful dream last night. You know, that kind of dream where you wish you could go back into it and just be like, oh, wow. I need to, like, ask this person some questions. And who are you? Like, can you just manifest in my real life and whatever? It was one of those kind of dreams. It was really interesting. But um, I learned something about myself in that dream. But it was a wonderful dream. And... Then I just got up this morning, you know, and opened up my home, you know, opened up the blinds, you know, and got back in bed because I'm sleepy. And I know what's going to come with that because I am fasting and detoxing and releasing. So I'm tired, you know, and I was releasing on this level and on the soul planes. So I'm sleepy and I'm tired. So I'm just going to just relax today. I mean, and even though I've been in bed, I haven't felt back to sleep since I've been up. It's just my body just wanting to... Just relax. Um, so I've been on like social media, had a couple of business calls, texting, journaling. Um, also had a wonderful phone conversation with my sister, my eldest sister this morning. So that was refreshing because she's always there to inspire me and encourage me and remind me of who I am, you know, and who my parents who are now ancestors are and how they're always protecting and watching over us and never to lose faith in anything that I'm doing. Just hold the faith and know that higher power has me. So we talked about a lot, you know, just to catch up and have that big sister there to listen to you and give you direction. It's, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So that was a great way to begin my day. And last night, I did eat after my last video. I actually ate around 11 o'clock. I just got hungry. And I was like, hey, I haven't eaten anything solid since Friday night. No, Friday afternoon when I ate lunch. So I was like, no, we're about to eat this um, collard salad. So I had a little bit of collard salad with some cayenne on it. I'm just a cayenne fanatic now. And um, that was okay. Because I didn't go to bed until almost 3 in the morning. And I was building with a brother, um, comrade, friend, until like 3 in the morning. We were on the phone for about 3 hours. And it was such a refreshing conversation because we were talking about comedic science and society and pan-Africanism and health and... Just It was just dynamic, our personal stuff we going through, you know, consoling one another. It was really refreshing, you know, even talking about working out and different exercises. And um, I love that because it feels good when you could talk to somebody of the opposite sex. And it's not about nothing kinky. You ain't trying to get up in your drawers. You know, it's like, hey, I'm coming to you as a brother. And you come into that person as a sister, and it's all good. I haven't had a conversation like that in a while. It's really been a long while. That's like, wow. So it was really, you know, refreshing. And um, I'm on a whole new track. I'm actually about to finally, I, like I've ordered an um, exercise mat finally. I'm going to start taking yoga. And I had to really just deal with that. Like, you know what? You need to be doing yoga. Like, Spirit was just like, you need to be doing yoga. We've been told you that, like, decades ago. Like, 
What's going on, girly friend? Get it together. So, <laughs> I remembered a dream that I had about, mm, wow. It was about maybe 2007. Wow. About 2007. And in this dream, that's really interesting though, it was that long ago. But it was somewhere between 2007, 2009. And in this dream, um, I was, I remember I was in India and I was doing this yoga instruction training or something. I just remember I had white on and I was doing the yoga thing. These people, they were around me doing yoga. So I was in the front and they was in the back. But then the interesting thing was me and my sister friend, um, my fellow comrade, Angelique, she had the same dream that I had. It was on the same night. The next morning, we're both calling each other, telling each other about this, and we had the same dream. But she confirmed that in the dream, we were both there doing yoga, but I was becoming a yoga instructor. So I had to really look at that, you know, within the last, like, you know, a couple of hours, like, you were yoga instructor. So you need to be doing what you're supposed to be doing, Tanya, and like, and really do this before you just, you know... Because when the universe has something for you to do and you don't do it, you really mess yourself up. Because when they start forcing you to do stuff, it's like, and I call it retaliation. Like, we told you to do something. <laughs> so we're going to whoop your behind right about now because you're not listening. You know, so I'm like, okay, it's on. It's on. I got this. I already know who um, I'm going to be training under and etc you know so i'm looking forward to that new part of me I, oh god i look forward to that so and i've always been flexible that's the whole thing you know i'm like that sister that even though i'm thick i can do a split you know i can touch the floor and you know all that kind of stuff i've been on touch for you know a lot of people ain't flexible I'm, i've always been flexible so this should be really good for me especially that part of the release and, you know, the whole spiritual dynamic of yoga. You know? So, I'm looking forward to that. And, um, my knee... I flared up my knee yesterday from walking. It's irritating me. It has not been bothering me, you know, for like a good five days. But I think the walk yesterday did it. I don't know. It might not even be that. It might be something else. Because I know Spirit has been telling me to wrap it. And I haven't wrapped it. So, I'm going to wrap it as soon as I finish this video. Put some shea butter on it and some cayenne pepper, and I'm about to wrap that baby up. Yes, and um, it's funny because I'm looking at my legs. Wow, and they look small. <laughs> they look funny looking. You know, you have to see your body sometimes and be like, oh my gosh. So um, I'm just loving like this experience I'm having. You know, what they're calling my 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 revolution, Tanya's revolution. So what my bi fat Leisha is, I'm you know, separating myself, that is my revolution. And a lot of people don't understand it, maybe. Maybe some people do and I think they don't understand it. But um you know, I, I honor those that do understand it and support it, you know, because it's something that means a lot to me. Because, you know, letting go is very important. You know, and this is part of my detachment. Because all of us souls have to detach from things that's down here. So we could be free. So that's part of my detachment is going through this process. And I'm enjoying and loving the healing experience. And I'm going to get up probably, well, as soon as I get actually finished the video, I'm getting up because I'm going to do this knee. And then I'm going to um, begin my day. I know I got a client that has a website that needs designed. And I say, you know, I'm going to do that today and um, just relax. And probably sip on some probiotics and some juice. Maybe I'll eat some fruit. I don't know. But I'm more than likely, I'm not going to do fruit. More than likely, I'm going to... Um, do some salad. Yeah. Make I have a green salad in here. I'll do some salad. 
And I don't even want my apple cider vinegar drink this morning. So I'm not even going to drink that. I don't know. I'm loving it. All right, y'all. This will probably be my one video for today. I might check in later if anything, you know, inspiring happens throughout the day. But for everyone, you know, I ain't into the July 4th thing. I ain't never been. Even though I ain't gonna front. When I was in New York, I used to love going to see the fireworks. <laughs> but them fireworks be the bomb for real. So I used to go see the fireworks. Other than that, I'm not into it. And I know, because I know what it represents. And I'm like, whatever, y'all. Y'all can keep that. But, you know, for those that have businesses today, make that money. Do what you got to do. Because you know what? You live in a capitalist society. And it takes finance to pay your bills and take care of you. So you got people that are going to celebrate the day. Make your bank. It is what it is. That's my suggestion for today. But for everyone else, keep it real. And remember who you are. And remember your ancestors. Remember what they were doing in 1776 on July 4th. With that, I say peace.